guys welcome back to my channel so today's video we're starting off a little bit different clearly like the wigs already on the face is basically done so i know y'all looking like what she finna do so i decided to bring y'all today my favorite blushes and bronzers so you know you can really just get at heat this summer someone in my comments called me the blush goddess and honestly guys i live like that's just the title we're sticking with y'all done gave me so many funny ass names it is so funny to me so i'm gonna like pick a different one each time and like start my video off with that because y'all are y'all are killing me um so yeah i'm bringing you just like my favorite I'm going to give you the brands and the blushes themselves and then also just a few of my personal favorites that I use on me. But these blushes and these brands, I have so many of them, I just I can't include it all in one video. So I can do like a part one, part two of these installments. Let me know in the comments if that's something that y'all are interested in. But the, 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 like the, the individual ones that I'm going to mention today, I'm going to give you like other shade names because I really, really love these and I understand that, you know, some people might not have the same blush preference as me. You know, it may be a different skin tone. But all of these blushes and bronzers and highlighters that I'm going to mention to you today, you can pretty much build them and make them work for any skin tone. Just because, you know, me as a makeup artist, I personally look for products that I can use on Mary Jane, Sue, and Pete, and whoever else I got to do. Like, all the extra stuff, it's just be, it'd be a lot. So, I'm going to, let's let's get into it because I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Okay, so since my face is already done, I'm going to start off with a couple of my favorite cream blushes. Um, Just because I can't I can't apply that to my face. Just because when I do a cream, I like to... You guys know how I do my base makeup. Um, I like to include creams right then and there. Because I still top it off with just a little bit of a... Just a little bit of a lighter color powder blush, you know? So, with that being said, that's kind of like... That's kind of like why I'm not going to do it you can apply a cream on top of your powders it's just a little bit extra work and i recommend doing it with like a stifling brush then going on top of that with your beauty blender with your powder and then dusting that in you know just so you get like a nice uniform look um yeah because it's it's just a lot it, I, and, I, and I personally i like the effect better when it's done before like i just feel like it gives you like this all over sheerness to the skin and it just looks it just looks better when you to me it looks better when you do your cream before you like that um so i'm not gonna show y'all like i've mentioned before how sometimes i just go on like color corrector or lipstick that's totally fine you can totally do that but these are just i don't have too too many favorite cream blushes just because that's not i don't do it too often i feel like it gives like a real natural effect and y'all know i don't do natural the most the closest to the natural i go is natural and that's just that's just that's just tea okay so i have a couple of these nude sticks i don't play with them very often but they have matte and then they also have more sheer formulas which is why i really like nude sticks and then they also on the packaging they kind of like tell you that you can use these like as your lipstick as your blush even though you know i tell y'all anyway like just because it say this for your eyes you can put that bad boy anywhere you know as long as it as long as it ain't dangerous you know as long as you ain't trying to eat it at the end but you know just Disclaimer. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna show you one of them. Um, these are like I don't remember. I think they're like eighteen dollars. Um, but they're really cute, and then they have the little brush on the end if that's what you're into, and it's just really cute. I don't ever use it because y'all know I'm big on my packaging, and I don't want to mess it up. Cause if you have to, when you have to wash it, you have to like wash the whole thing, like, cause it doesn't come off. Oh, it does come off. It comes off, so you can wash it, but that's that's the you thing my dog but i like i i like i prefer when you do a cream to use like a stifling brush because i just feel like it just flicks the product better um versus this it's kind of flat and it doesn't it looks like it'll soak up your product but i've never used it so i wouldn't know about that brush but anyway the stick is nice and creamy and it's buildable so it looks like this this one is in the color beach babe and i'm just gonna show you right here really pretty and matte it's like a mauvey corally pink and it, it lives up to his name like this gives me like really beach vibes um yeah looks like that it's really pretty and it's still like really buildable and it feels really good on the skin so like you definitely could use this as a thing once you blend it out you can see like just showing on the back of my hand the coverage of it so nice and it's 
you know you can go in it with as much as you need to but so i would just go in like this and then top it off with you know a little bit of powder and you know that was it that would be it so we're just gonna and the good thing about these i like is they come in these cute little tins so you can just throw them in your bag and it has a mirror in the lid so it's just really cute nice cream blush uh, like i said i don't have too many creams i only have this and then uh, this one um just because it's it's not my it's not my thing like i use that this and then like a color card that's like the most cream blushes that i'm gonna do personally but you know whatever um i also have the anastasia beverly hills face palette but you know it's it's you it can be a hit or miss with that one just because sometimes you have to warm that palette up a little bit before you get it to like the consistency that you want it to be and i just wouldn't include it in my favorites video especially because it, it takes a lot of work i'm not gonna lie that's like the main reason why i don't reach for that palette really really often like for me to bring that palette out it got to be a lot of people and their skin has to be fairly dry for me to use it because i know i'm gonna have to put a little oil in it and i don't like that so this is the elf matte putty blush i have a couple of these because i actually really like this um i like the rihanna's as well and i just ordered the mama mitchell blush the b-l-u-r-s-h so i can't wait to show y'all those as well because i do want to like that's like something i don't really play around with i don't really mess around with my base makeup too funny um just because you know like sometimes it could be a hit or miss especially when you're playing with like cream blushes and y'all know how strong my blush game is that's, i feel like that's what like makes my face my face so you know it's just motherfucking it's just what you gotta do sometime anyway yeah this is the um elf putty blush it's the same formula as the this is the this is a new one i don't want to swatch a new one oh well uh, yeah this is the putty blush it's the same formula as the primer it has like that same balmy feel and it's just nice it's about the same shade as the new stick one. So, you know, a fraction of the cost, but you know, it's really nice. It gives me like strawberry vibes, but you know, you can build it up as much as you need to. And this one is in the color. This is in the color Turks and Caicos. So just for reference, if you're interested in this, and this is only about $6. So, you know, it's really nice. I have a couple other ones. I have one that's more red. So I really like applying that like back here where, you know, I like really sculpt my face. So I kind of like keep that as reference, you know? So I feel like now that we're getting into like the, my favorite powders, I cannot start this video off without my OG. I already know what I'm finna bring up. The Zulu palette from Juvia's Place. Like, you need this you need this you need this it's a staple like i understand you know it's twenty dollars but you know it's, it can be a it, it's could it can be pricey you know especially if you're new to makeup and you know you're trying to stick to your budget but this is just like key because it has everything you'll need in it like your bronzer your blush your contour your warmth your everything that you could possibly need is in this palette like i can get ready in five minutes with this palette like it's just a key staple like days or you know i'm just in a rush just you know throwing a quick face and go i promise you i'm picking this up like yeah, i just i just adore this palette and the pan sizes are large so you know it's not like you're paying 20 dollars a week like gosh you just need this you can customize it you know if you're more cooler tone you know you can mix with a little bit of the blue or the purple just you know just slightly just to you know cool it down a little bit you can use these on all skin tones because, you know, if you're a more fair girl, you can barely tap into this and it mix with a little bit of your powder and you're good. Like, this is just, this is just fucking what you need. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna bullshit you. I ain't gonna tell you nothing. I ain't gonna tell you nothing wrong. I ain't gonna tell you nothing that you don't need to know. So, you need this. You need this. You need it. You need it in your life. I just feel like it's just perfect. Like... It's perfect like and you know in addition with like having it you kind of i'm gonna just like show y'all some of my favorite blush brushes just because this i feel like it's kind of important so you kind of like understand you know so to like blend out the creams you can go with more of an angled i love this one so you see how this just like fits my cheeks so perfectly so i love doing a creamer creamer <laughs> cream contours cream blushes blending them out with brushes like these this brush is from cala um uh doesn't have a name on it but it looks like that this one's from elf you know it's just a um a flat-headed brush looks kind of like that you can kind of see like mine's worn out because 
I use them and they're just so nice for really pressing that into the skin. That's why I really love these for creams. Um, and these are from Real Techniques. I don't know if they make these anymore. I got two sets of them and I wanted more, but I don't know if they make them anymore. I'm gonna have to check Amazon. Um, but this is the Press Play Brush Collection. These are super nice. I like to use this one for like bronzers, just because like you can see how this fits full on my forehead. Like it's more fluffy, but it also kind of has that point as you can see that. This is the, I'm gonna say this is the extra large one. Yeah, this is the extra large one. This is the large one. So I'll use this one for like my blush. Look at that. And then I like to use an, un not under eye, I call this an under eye brush, but it's an angle brush. This one is from Morphe from like a rose gold bush collection they had like a little while back but this angle that you know people use to contour i love taking this under the eye to like really push this powder in you know like my under eye brightener powder i just feel like that just looks so good and i also like doing this for my blushes more so than contour and bronzers just because personally i love a big fluffier brush i can really you know like work and blend and infuse all that good stuff together like it's just kind of like this is like a mixing brush like a mixing bowl like what you call that thing in your mix cake a blender it's kind of like a blender like it just looks so good i just love it i love it and then i also love corner brushes like these as you can see mine are still worn um to apply br brush <laughs> I'm so, I'm just having a day with my words. Um, so like clean up under the eye, like these pointer brushes fit so good. Like, especially with like my nose shape from my eye, you know, it just fits so good under there. Like, ugh. love a good pointer brush. Um, these don't have a name. I'm not sure where I got them from. These look like, like Walmart sets, to be honest with you. Or like the Anastasia 823 brush, something kind of like that. Um, so, you know, you take it under eye. It's just the perfect size for a blush to really, you know, swirl and get you in the good, add a little color. This is also a ride or die. I've had this brush for years. Um, this is the Luxie Beauty 514 blush brush. I use it more so for bronzing up, like, my temples and stuff. Um, sometimes I apply blush. Bless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call this thing 15 different things four times this video is over. But yeah, like, it's just so many good things. Y'all, LL Cool J. So, oof. I'm watching, I done watched this movie like 18 times a day. Deliver us from evil. Y'all know I love me some Gabrielle Union. Like, I love her. Like, I love her. So, I done watched this movie like 15 times. I done been crying. I done, I done just had, I done just had, I just had, I just had, I just had a day with this movie. <laughs> But yeah, um, so in addition with the Zulu palette, I also really like, now if I had to make a choice for my face wise, I'm always going to pick the Zulu. So that's just, keep that in mind as I'm saying that. Um, but this is the Warrior 2 from Juvia's and this is also really nice, especially for my um, darker skin girls, just because the colors are a little richer, you know, for bronzing, why bronzing purposes. Um, but these two shades I love as a blush. I don't, I really don't use this so much for my skin tone just because it's a little it's a little hard so when i do it it's a real like it's a real snatching day you know what i'm saying like like it, it looks milk chocolatey and perfect and warm but once you apply it it can get really dark really fast i'm just going to show you on the side of my nose here you can cut you can see like how pigmented this is so since you know i ain't got nothing going on i'm gonna just show y'all like a natural do you see that like how it's really it's really rich so you know this one is not as versatile as the zulu palette i don't know i guess it's pressed different because of the colors that they want in um but yeah it's it definitely gets you there but these blush shades just are so pretty guys like everything 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 you know so that's that's it from Juvia's. Um, I have the Sahara blush palette, but it's just, it's nice, but it's, it don't, it, honestly, I would much rather them had these shades in that Sahara blush palette. I have one and two, and they ain't fucking with them too. So, like, I'll include them in another segment of, like, my favorite blushes and bronzers, but they ain't fucking with that. So, they didn't make it in the first installment, guys. <laughs> um, so, we're gonna keep in the drugstore area. 
Um, I just hit pan, so this is another one. I don't know if they still make these or not, guys. Like, I'm the person when I see something and I like it, I'm buying 15 million of them. Because what I ain't gonna do is be and tell y'all all the tea, and then I can't get none of my own shit. Cause that, that right there, now that, 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 that'll. That's just a lot. Oh, and did I mention this has a good highlighter in here? This has a good highlighter right here. This got a this, this I know it look really pink and really rosy gold, but once you put that thing on your skin, girl, it is so pretty. Especially when you blend it with your blush, girl. Really, really pretty. So I don't know if I mentioned that before or not. So that's why I'm gonna keep it brief like that. But really good. Back to the NYX. Um, you know, NYX has just been that's I feel like everybody when they first got into makeup, they started off with a piece from NYX Cosmetics. I mean you did like especially you know as a brown skin black makeup artist girl you know the hair store they, they love carrying nicks and i didn't i never understood that but yeah they love carrying some nicks child um but all skin tones i just don't don't bullshit y'all done start off with some good old nicks la colors la girl you know don't let it fool you like i might have dropped eighty dollars on this but i'm still gonna go pick up this for four dollars like don't let nobody fool you. Ain't nobody bougie. Ain't nobody acting up. Cause I'll, I'll pop this while I'm on my second. No, this ain't the second one. But that's what I'm saying. I'm opening up another box right now. As you can see. The play with your mama. i find, find you something safe to do. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is the next. These are really, really creamy. Um, But they're not a cream. But they're a powder. But they're creamy. They're like a. They're like a hybrid. Like, let me just. Let me just rub it. So. Oh. It just feels like, can you see, can you see that? It just feels like butter. You can't even see my fingerprint, but look at that. Oh, oh my God. Uh, I love that. I love that. You blend that with your bronzer, put a little orange back there, you know, just the, you know, it's everything. This one is in the color Summer Breeze. This is my favorite one. They also, I don't know if they still make them. I have them somewhere in one of these vanities. But they used to make um the ombre blush. I know what I'm talking about. Now, this for my this for my people that's been in the game for a long time. You know when Nick used to have that ombre blush. And my favorite one was that brown. And it goes to that cream color. And then you put just a little bit of this right here. You know, just to warm it up a little bit. God damn, ooh. You couldn't tell you you wasn't no Tahitian treat, mommy. Like, girl, that thing, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. And then I also love, it was like a corally color, and then it melts it into like an electric pink. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I need to find out if they still make them. If y'all find some of them in y'all hair stores near y'all, please send them to me. I will cash app you, Zell. You send you the money. I, I genuinely don't know if they still make them. I haven't. You know, when you ain't looking for something, you don't know. You know what I mean? Like, so I ain't really been on the hunt for it. And I ain't, I ain't really paying no attention. So I don't know if they still make those. But I, if I knew what they was, that would have made it in this video. And I hate showing y'all stuff that I don't know is available also. Because I feel like that kind of like defeats the purpose. But I need those. It's the NYX Ombre Blush. If y'all see them, pick you up some. Because they blend out so pretty. And the top of it has like a... It ombres out and the bottom half is matte and then the top piece up here it has like a little it's not glittery and it's not shimmery but it's a, like a little like a little mermaid glow. You know what I'm talking about? Like you know what I'm saying? Like it just and I never like I never put mine just like swipe it on like this where you know you can see how um, I used to swirl mine up in there like I'm mixing mashed potatoes and gravy. Girl, I used to, you know, mix that thing up and then put it on. Ooh, who fucking with me? Nobody. Like, y'all, please let me know if y'all know what I'm talking about. Because I done went on terrible. <laughs> but it's so good, y'all. It's so good. So, we're going to keep going with the blushes. Um, So, also, I'm not going to make this video super long either. Because I don't want to do a super long video. The Laura Geller blushes. Oh, my God, y'all. I said Laura Geller. <laughs> I'm looking at Laura Geller because I am going to mention some of her products. Laura Mercier, I'm sorry. Laura Mercier blushes. These are my two hands-down favorite blushes from her. And they're just so good. They're called the Blush Color Infusion. This one is in the color Strawberry. And these look good on every freaking skin tone. So, like, I know my brown girls are probably running because it's like a, it's a bright pink. But it's so good, y'all. It's so good. 
um and then i think i'm gonna take this one today just because i'm feeling like really spicy really you know like stunting on my ex type of vibes today that's just like what i feel like i'm giving i feel like i'm giving grown up like that's just like what i feel like i'm doing so you know yeah um uh, like this just gives me like i'll take your man and make you a cuckoo like that's just like what this is giving this one is in the color grapefruit and i know my paler people are probably like girl that's too rich for me no it's not it's so good it's so good and i know y'all tired of me hollering at y'all but i'm gonna just take it on this brush right here and i'm gonna you know how you know how i do i'm just low Do you see why this is my favorite? Do you see why I ain't even I ain't even really build the baby up yet? You know what I'm saying? I just started, you know, tapping this on. And it takes nothing. And look how you can just keep blending it out so you get it back as soft as you want to. Like these are full, full. <laughs> these are full proof. Like if you put too much, it's so easy to keep blending and keep going just until you get it as soft as you like it to be. But you know me, I'm going to put this thing on here and I'm going to help God Santa Claus on home with my rosy red cheeks. Like Santa Claus already know where I'm at because he can just see this. You see that? It's like satellite detectors going on. Because this right here, baby. Mm. Let me get some more of that. This is like Thanksgiving dinner. Like you you put some on and then you be like, let me get a little bit more of that grandma. Ooh, that, that pie right there is so good. Let me get a little, let me get an extra piece of that turkey. You know, I don't turkey, I don't eat pie. But you get what I'm saying? Like, this is just sis, let me put you on some. Turn your head to the side. Okay. Did you look good? Oh, come here, let me put a little bit on your nose right there. Oh girl. You look good, sis. You look like me. Where we going tonight? Where we going? What we doing? This is just honestly, this is my perfect blush. I think these are like $30 a piece. But honestly, guys, these I'm just put a little strawberry right here. You see how that just oh instantly like, look, I put a little highlighter on or something. And it's not shimmery. These are matte. But, you know, you put a little lighter color, it's going to instantly pop. Do you see what a difference that made for my face like so fast? Now y'all understand why I be preaching at y'all and how at y'all so bad. Like you need blush. Like you need it. You need it. You think it's contour with snatching your face? No, sis. It's the blush. Like, no, okay, you you might contour real good, but who wants sunken in cheeks? When you see somebody with sunken in cheeks, what you say? They ass on drools. That is what you say. So that 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 just emphasizes that shows you the true importance of a blush. The blush is what brings it all back together. Like I'm trying to make sure y'all understand two plus two equals four. Like I just want y'all to understand. Like blush is what make you alive. Period. <laughs> so the lash the lash. <laughs> The last blush that I'm going to mention in this video, well, no, it's not the last, it's technically not the last, um, is this blush trio from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one's in the color Peachy Love. Y'all know I love a peachy, just like I love peachy nudes, I love a peachy blush. I love, well, I love any color blush. I ain't even going to sit here and cap like that. But it has three different shades. And I love these trios from Anastasia Beverly Hills because they let you play. They let you experiment. That way, you know, you can really just figure out what's going to work good for you. Because what worked good for me is also going to work good for you. But in case you think I'm bullshitting you, you know, you have an option to play with. So that's why I really like this one. I think this is like $24, something like that. Um, I know it's not much, especially compared to the Juvia's Palette Place. But, you know, it's really good. Um, I don't ever just pick one because I... They like my cheering. Like you wouldn't leave one cheering home while you go out. You know what I'm saying? Like you just wouldn't do that. So I just like to take a brush and swirl these puppies like this. I'm like kicking powder on myself. And this one over here has like a little shimmer to it, but it's not like overwhelmingly where it's like a highlighter. You know what I'm saying? So Ooh. just show you kind of like right here. Kind of like, well, I don't put most of it on my face, but you can kind of like see like the shimmer that was in there. 
It's to give you like a little, just a little, just a little twinkle, twinkle, little spell. You know, nothing, nothing major. Ain't not no blinding highlighter. Cause you know, I feel like I'm at the point in my life where I just don't want to put all that highlighter on my cheeks. Like I'll put it right here in the center, you know, just the slim and everything. Bring the tension back right here. But I just love like the matte face. Like it gave me like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, what did you just say? It give me no bullshit vibes like it does. Like this, this, this blush combination, blush bronze combination, it give you like, people are known not to like stuff you any type of way when you have this on, I promise you guys. Like they, they all, they all know the comfort career. Like they know, they better not come over here unless they talking about money or something that's pertaining to you. They know they can't come over here with no bullshit when you got this right here on. I'm just trying to tell you like, they know better. Like go find you something safe to do. Like they know, they know. So this is, is this gonna be the last blush? We gonna make this the last blush because I think I'm about at 30 minutes right now and I ain't trying to keep y'all here because I know y'all don't be wanting to see them long ass videos. Hell, I don't want to see these long ass videos. Then I got to edit this shit. Y'all know me. I'll be gonna upload this thing with everything in here because I, I don't feel like that. So these are really, really nice for beginning makeup artists. Um, Kind of like the Black Radiance Contour Kits. I didn't want to include those in this video, even though they deserve to be in here, but I just feel like everyone has those now. So, you know, I'm trying to get you something else to go to. So, get you something else to reach for versus, you know, the same thing. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like everyone's done reviews on those. Y'all know those are just like staples. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just like the Maybelline Fit Me. You know what I mean? Like, that's just something, that's a drugstore product that I feel like everyone has at their house. And if you don't have it, you definitely should pick up a Black Radiance Contour Kit. I, period. I, it has a excuse me it has a contour a sculpt and a highlight shade you know what i'm saying so and i think they're like eight dollars so it didn't i didn't show it because i think y'all already had it. <laughs> so this is the um morphe cosmetics or morphe brush they're morphe brushes now but this one is in the color dash rich ar um blush contour kit I'm trying to make sure y'all be make sure y'all be able to see without the mirror reflecting. But yeah, it has this really nice full body mirror, and then it has these are really great. So I got the re I have well I have all of them except for the extremely light one just because I even on my even on my palest of pale clients like I'm you're at least gonna get this as your contour. Like I'm sorry, you need I I just really love making sure you look super rich. So you know I want you to look like you just came from Hawaii. So yeah. I don't know if y'all can see if I like show you the mirror, but well, you kind of like see it twice. But yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, this one is the one that I primarily use on me, like for my skin tone, just because I like this, like applying it on my forehead, on my chin, you know, just to like, you know, like sometimes maybe you didn't put enough setting powder there. You need just like a little touch up. That's a really nice color. Um, yeah, so it has eight matte bronzers, one matte blush, and then these are highlighters right here. And then this blush right here has like a little shimmer to it. Damn it, I just clipped it with my nail. But really nice pigment, you know. And I think they're like $16. So, you know, you really can't beat it when you think about it. If it's $16 and you get eight, eight shades, that's like $2 a pair, you know. And it's like one of these really versatile palettes that you can use like on, like I said, on everyone. And I think that's really important for makeup artists, you know, like not have to reach for 50 million things. Especially if you travel especially like if you like me and you lose a lot of shit because i lose stuff like really really bad you know so just trying to help y'all out just trying to help a sister out i'm trying to help y'all help y'all too you know what i'm saying so i'm only going to show you two bronzers because I want to be focused on blush today, and I'm only going to show you two highlighters as well. So, I have the Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy Sun Stalker Bronzer. You already know that the motherfucking drill with this, like. <laughs> and then, in addition with the Zulu palette, like I already mentioned previously, I already know how I feel about this right here. Like, I just feel like I just. I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. Motherfucking period. Like, big perk. Like, Throw it in your bag, you're good to go. It's Rihanna. What would you expect? Like, I feel like I feel like I'm supposed to go to Barbados when I put this on. Like, go to Jamaica or something. Like, go get me one of them big old chocolatey. That's big as hell. Stella getting her motherfucking groove back, y'all. <laughs> um, and then this is also the Morphe Glamour Bronze Leader Bronzer 
this is huge guys i've had this one for a little hot minute now this one is the one i use for me it's not the deepest shade um because it's buildable so nice so nice and i think this is like 15 dollars but you know, you go to um Ulta and pick this up. You get that sale, you that three fifty off coupon. Boom, you done bought paid probably about about ten dollars, and you done got this big old bronzer, and it works so good. Y'all can tell that I use mine, cause the, the packaging all dent up, like it's a little dusty. Look at the clips and dips all on the thing. Like look at the mirror, mirror don't be clean. Like that's how you know you use some. The stuff that be sitting here pretty still, that that thing ain't getting no play. It ain't. Now, you ain't nothing you finna tell me that it is because it ain't and we already know that so i also want to show you guys the laura geller baked gelato a lot <laughs> it sounds like i drank but i swear i don't drink <laughs> i sound like a drunk um it's it's small but guys a little bit goes such a long way i've had this one probably since like 2017 I got introduced to Laura Geller when I first got into makeup. Like, I was broke. I was working at Walgreens. I was just fucking broke. So, you know, girl had to get it how she lived. So, I got introduced to this being on HSN. You know, HSN was, like, the first people to do, like, well, today we have, like, quad pay and shit. Like, they had the little four flex pay. So, that's how I got introduced to, like, luxury makeup. So, it was Laura Geller used to be on there. It Cosmetics was on there, Benefit was on there, Too Faced was on there. So that's like how I started getting into more prestige makeup. And you know, that's why, I, you know, well, yeah, when you invest in your shit, your shit look better. Like, I ain't saying that drugstore don't hit, cause drugstore does hit. But you know, sometimes, sometimes you just need a little sometime. You know, and this is one of those sometime products. And this highlighter, guys, is so, it's everything so you can do it wet you can do it dry you can do it on a brush like it's very light on a brush you can do it with your finger it's really buildable and i really like that that's like see it's, it's really dummy proof and i love that so you can put as much as you want on if you want to be you know like a glazed donut you can if you like me you just want a little twinkle twinkle a little more star, like you know because you're not into highlighter like you used to be you know sometimes you get a little older you can't put a lot of highlighter on older skin. Like, it's just, it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. But, you know, you do it. You just have to, like, make it work for yourself. And it's just so good. This one's in the shade Gilded Honey. And I just, this is the perfect, most universal white gold shade without having you looking ashy from my brown girls. Because, you know, some of them highlighters, especially by, you know, some brands, they will have you looking casket ready but this is not one of them as you can see it's just so it's really soft really pretty really really giving you what you need to give yeah so lastly i'm going to show you my iconic london pigment loose loose pro pigment palette this is the original one i don't know if they have another one coming out yet i like to keep this on here because i just feel like i'm gonna drop it and scratch it and i don't want to do that so don't judge me for having my grandmama plastic still on here y'all remember when they had them little old timey couches and they had the plastic on them and whenever you were sitting on them in the summertime your ass cheek used to get stuck to it you just be sitting on that thing sweating yeah i have that on here so i feel i think i introduced y'all to this in like my previous video but i just want to show you again i don't want i want to i'm gonna open it for y'all even though I don't want to, because, you know. Comes with six shades. They have this really pretty icy shade right here. I can't get it open. Okay, maybe maybe it don't want to be seen. Okay, we just gonna move on. This is a really pale color. This is like a more crystallized opal shade right here. You can kind of see that little bit right there that I swatched. They're so, okay, here we go. This is what this one looks like. And they're full, so it's going to last you such a long time. You just have to be kind of careful because it will kick back on you. But it's so nice because if you're a makeup artist, you know, you can really build. You can use this on everybody. It's a shade on here for everybody. This is my favorite. I use this one on, like, the tip of my nose. Like, look at that. Y'all already know. Don't just just say my nose. Don't just just scream me. Okay. <laughs> okay, six of them. You know, so you can just kind of like play. I showed you this one, this one, this one. You know. 
Um, this is like a more rosy pinky shade. So, you know, you can just, you know, you can also like mix them up. Like, you know, get your clients a little customized, you know, a little, little razzmatazz smoothie on their face. And that be that. All right, guys. So, that pretty much does it for this video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. Um, I hope you found something that you definitely feel like you just have to pick up. I hope I emphasize like what I was trying to get to you to know out of this video. And it's that blush is, is important. Like, like imagine me to, I like, I wish I had like the president or somebody to just like endorse me and say, you know, blush is important, guys. Like, the end to it all is just blush. Like, if, you're, if your blush is good, you're going to be good and your day is going to be great and the world's going to be great. Like, there won't be anything to complain about like you just feel like i just i can't do any wrong it can be motherfucking rain and goats and elephants outside but i'm having a great blush day you know it is what it is <laughs> all right guys so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know what you thought follow me on instagram at the erica danley and i'll see y'all in my next video